start uh, with um, Miriam and Glenna, if it's uh, uh, possible. And the reason I want to start with you is because the topic, gender bias in the media roundtable, works under an assumption that there is media gender bias in the media. Number one, would you agree? And number two, how do you qualify bias in the media? Um, I think there is bias, uh, and I don't think we recognize it always. I also think sometimes in politics, people use that as an excuse for picking on me as if it's biased when, in fact, we're picking on a person not because of their gender, but because of their policies or what they stand for, what they're pushing for. And, I, and it gets difficult. Both Hillary Clinton and Sarah Palin face that from their detractors, and it wasn't always about um, what they were wearing, which definitely there were stories about that, and, and it was superficial and, and not really what, what mattered. Um, it was about what they stood for and whether you agreed with them or not. So, so it, it's, it's a slippery slope, you know, and, and we have to watch ourselves. Question, I do think there is a very subtle gender bias. I don't think there is any overt gender bias at all, yeah. unless you watch cables at night nationally and they do it to but, be provocative. But most people do. Yes. But, but I think when, when you have something as overt as a Keith Oberman or one of those other guys. I don't, I don't want to pick on parties, but what? a cable announcer, by definition, wants to poke you in the face, wants to be provocative, wants a reaction. And I think much of what they do is for that reason. But I think the more subtle gender bias in the media is probably a lot more dangerous. But the idea is that this bias goes all over the place, and we've got to pin it down, and we've got to speak to it, we've got to challenge it. It's, it's not right. Um, as a former elementary school teacher and principal, I look at the little girls on the playground who will never get a chance. They'll never get a chance because they're a little girl. Press accuracy rating by the American public is now at the lowest point in two decades. And I submit to you that part of the cause of that is the mean-spiritedness of the commentators. Mm -hmm. By uh, Deborah Tannen, that she wrote about mothers and daughters called You're Wearing That. And it says the topics that you don't discuss are hair, weight, and clothes. And so I would like to suggest that that would be a good uh, guide for people who are the serious media. And let's talk about the serious media versus the frivolous entertainment media. So I think that would be a good place to start. Let's not talk about hair, weight, and clothes. Um, and we're, the code words, I think, that we see in articles that we could take umbrage at, shrill, feisty, bitchy. Yeah. Those are all words that I think that we would agree have co their code language for diminishing women that I've always identified as a feminist. And I don't know that that's the case with uh, women so much these days. And younger women, they don't even want to use the F word. Uh, and and I find that somewhat disturbing. If so I could just interject for a minute on, on the issue of feminism, part of the problem is that the feminist movement really became a political movement. And for the example, I am one who is pro-life, and the feminists just don't have a place or didn't have a place for women who were pro-life. And so you just automatically felt excluded to a very big degree. I mean, we are horrible to each other, and I'm not saying I haven't met either. We don't give each other a helping hand. We don't, you know, in our prayers at night, you know, we're hoping, you know, it's like that line out of, you know, Miss Congeniality. Oh, I, you know, we're secretly hoping somebody tripped. Oh, I actually, I just did that. You know, we're hoping you trip in front of me. You know, and and it, it, it that needs to stop. For women, I felt that the biggest thing, the biggest idea that I um, received from this event was to speak out, um, to uh, take out your ideas to the next level.